Hi, we're Alan and Barbara Pease, and we're here to dis discuss a topic that we've been talking about a lot, which is, Everyone's talking will about. the handshake survive after the virus? What do you think, Alan? Well, if you look at the history of the handshake first, if you go back 2000 years, you'll see this painted on Roman vases. It was done only between men at the time, as a form of greeting, the person with the strongest hand was said to have the upper hand, which meant their troops got the first food, whining and dining. And it got modified into this position, which is like this, which is what we know in, in the West and Western Europe as a modern handshake. But it doesn't exist everywhere. In Asia, for example, they'd always use some sort of bowing gesture or in a mast or looking down, body lowering. Handshaking is a fairly new thing in those places, places like Japan, for example, where a bowing is more common unless they've had a quite a bit of experience with the Westerners and understand shaking hands. So it's not a universal thing. No. It's common, but it's not universal. Uh, that's the first thing is the history of it. Now, will it survive? I think it'll be modified. If you look at the last big plague that we know about, the bubonic plague in the 1600s. Now, the bubonic plague, they initially thought that the plague was being spread by phlegm and snot. And so the governments of Europe said, everybody must start blowing their nose rather than spitting on the ground, which is what everybody did up and the bubonic plague, you were to blow it into a, into a piece of rag and put it away for later. Uh, and it turned out that the bubonic plague was spread by rats anyway, yeah. so that didn't help. But people started blowing their nose, and that's why Westerners and Europeans today blow their nose, because yeah. of the bubonic plague. That's its history. Will it survive? Um, it'll be modified. So let's look at what are the medics and others, the presidents, suggesting we should do now to correct, because the medics are saying don't shake hands. Okay, so what are the alternatives they're offering us? Well, this elbow, elbow tap, tap, elbow which tap? doesn't work for me. No. Problem with the elbow tap is what? Cross, you're crossing your body, you're turning away from well, As a woman, person. how do you like it? I don't like it at all. I don't Women don't like no. elbow bumps. No, 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 don't no. do that. Men do it because it's a bit of a joke. Now, the problem is that when you do it, you have taken away social distancing. And if you speak hello, you've just broken in their face. Mm. Elbow no, tapping. Not. Politicians not, not think that up. Not a good idea. No. What else are they suggesting? Uh, the uh, kick. Well, the foot tap. Foot tap. Oh yeah, yeah. good kick in the good kick in the ankle. That's a but great again, way to start. But again, you're, you're kicking and you're leaning it back. Stop kicking me. Yeah, so well, you're leaning back it's, too. It's again, it's not a proximity. You've got, you've got to be close to be able to do a foot tap. So it's mm. not a really good thing to do either. No. How about a fist bump? Mm, Guys that's... don't mind a fist bump. No. Women but still, like we're touching. We're close, and you're still putting germs. On me. Well, handshaking has been shown to be one of the number one causes of transmission of disease and germs. Mm. Now, if that's 100% transmission of germs, this is around 10%. Elbow touch is about 5%. Petrol pumps are about 80%. Yet people still grabbing petrol pumps and then want to shake your hand. It's a no-no. No. So the thing that they're suggesting really are not practical and don't work. No, so, they don't. what should we should we replace the handshake with something as an alternative? And the answer is you've got to be yes. Yes. Okay, what are you suggesting, Val? Um, well, my suggestion is that we place our hand on our heart and we smile and bow. Just a little bow. It's just, hi. It's acknowledging the person. A heart hello. It's saying, yeah, it's a heart hello. Hello, I'm here. I can see you. But we're not touching. We're not offending anyone. Keeping we're being very gracious and connecting with that person. You, you will see something similar to this in other parts of the world. Middle East, you might see these type of variations. So you're smiling, you're lowering your body, don't lower your eyes, mm. uh, because you probably don't want to be submissive no. to that person. But smiling, lowering your body, which means that you're not threatening, putting your hand on your heart is sincerity, and there's no germ transmission. And women love this, I know women Absolutely. love this. But guys will take a bit of getting used to because they want to do a bit of a fist bump. But fist bumps are still involved with close proximity and transmission of disease. But I think from a woman's point of view, because, you know, we need to protect the family and protect mm -hmm. our children and we need to teach our children what to do instead of handshaking or touching, that that is a really good, it's a great alternative. Nice to see you all. Nice to meet you all. Works well, it's simple, it's friendly and it's non-contact. It's warm. It's warm, it's friendly, that's right. Because remember, handshaking started between troop leaders as a form of arm wrestling. And it only, only remained in Western cultures and Western Europe, primarily. And those who now get American television also do handshaking because they've seen it. And don't forget the, the people that live out in the country, they tip their hat. They don't shake hands. They tip nice their hat. Nice to see you. But it wouldn't work 
in cities. Well, the, the, I couldn't see myself yeah. going like that. You see old guys like, like me doing it. Uh, it is fairly rural too, yeah. because back in the days when people wore hats, uh, men especially, uh, hats make you look taller, so you look more intimidating, more threatening, and potentially more aggressive. So when they would meet somebody, they'd take their hat off to make themselves appear shorter. And to go the full length, they take it off and they bow. Nice to meet you, and they do this bow. Now, because we don't wear hats, older generation might do, it's, it's like a, a substitute hat touch. They go, nice to see you. And they actually go to remove their hat, which isn't there. Yeah, nice to meet you. Uh, that can work as well. And particularly the older generation, nice to see you. And great to meet you too, Bob. Lovely that way, to everybody you. feels important. They feel significant. They feel welcome. They feel warm. And there's no transmission of disease.